Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of ASA. Before I get into today's episode, I just want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last video. That episode almost got 200 views and I got 9 questions from it. Thank you all very much. Now let's get into the actual questions starting with CL66S and he says, ASA, what's your favorite clone commander? Uh, Paz? <laughs> This is kind of a lame answer, but I don't actually have a favorite clone commander. I don't even have a favorite clone trooper. Squidward. Next question is from the man who loves cats. ASA, what's a movie slash game you would want to be a Lego theme? For me, it's Halo and then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm gonna go with SpongeBob. Now, I know that Lego SpongeBob does technically exist, but I think it would be cool if they brought SpongeBob back because then they could, like, update everything, make it look better. I don't know if I would get any, but it would be really cool to see Lego SpongeBob come back. You weak-minded fool! Next question is from Scott Daves and he says, ASA, is Indiana Jones the greatest adventure series ever? And then some potatoes, thank you for the potatoes. To make you happy, I'll say, sure, why not? A lo que yo vine, fue a esto. <coughs> Next question is from TG Collects and he says, ASA, what sets are you most excited for this summer? And then some potatoes, thank you for the potatoes. Definitely the Imperial Mech because oh my gosh, isn't that thing just amazing? I can't even, it's so ugly, it's so bad, it's horrible. The question wasn't what am, what set am I looking forward to the least, but it's that one. That's disgusting. So out of all my choices for the summer sets, I think I'm going to go with the Yavin 4 Rebel Base. You definitely get a lot of minifigures and stuff with that set, which is cool. I've never personally been a huge fan of Yavin 4, but I do think it's cool that we're finally getting, like, a set based on Yavin. And so, I do like that. I think that the minifigure selection is actually really cool. I'm not sure if $170 is gonna be worth it, but I'm still gonna get it on day one. And so, I'm just gonna go with that one. I think that one's the one I'm most excited for. Although, and I could be wrong here because I don't follow leaks very well, but isn't there supposed to be a gunship coming out in the summer? or two because if that's the case then I'm gonna say that that because a gunship would be really freaking awesome plus it's supposed to have like Coruscant guards and be like a red gunship so that's gonna be like super cool if that ends up happening I haven't heard anything about it so maybe that's not happening but I really do hope so next question is from CT Bricks and he says ASA what clone legion would you like to see in a battle pack next and then some potatoes thank you for the potatoes my dude I'm more of an imperial fan myself I like the empire a lot more than the Republic. I don't really have a preference on like clone legions and stuff because I just like all of them pretty much equally. So I would say as long as it looks good, that's all I care about. Next question is from EK Starlord and he says, what is your thoughts on Star Wars Outlaws? And then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I don't actually know a whole lot about Star Wars Outlaws. I haven't done like any research or anything on it. The only thing I've ever watched was the trailer. And so going just based on that, I think it actually looks really cool. The cinematics look almost as good as like a movie so like that's really cool apparently it's going to be like an open world video game so I'm like that sounds fun the characters look pretty cool the story's supposed to take place I think in between episode I want to say five and six I could be wrong on that so I'm like that's cool because that means the empire is still around I really like the characters this battle droid right here I can't remember his name but he just looks super cool I think a lot of people are like going nuts for him so that's kind of funny oh no he it looks like a cool game. It's going to be fun, I'm sure. I'm hoping to see more gameplay and trailers and stuff. I know that there's some gameplay videos out there, but I haven't actually watched any. Because I'm like, I'm excited, but also, I don't care. Does that make any sense at all? I know the answer to that is no. But I'm like, a new Star Wars game will be fun. But until it's closer to release, I'm not even going to really pay much attention to it. I really do think it'll be cool. And of course, I'm going to get it no matter what. Next question is also from EK Starlord. Will you be watching My Adventures with Superman when it comes? out and then a bunch of potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it, so I'll leave it at a hard maybe, okay? <laughs> Next question is from Reed Renders and he says, ASA, what movie are you excited for? And then four potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I'm pretty much only excited for like the Marvel movies because like that's like all I watch. And so the one that I'm most excited for out of all the Marvel movies coming up like relatively soon is Deadpool 3 because that comes out next year in May and I'm 
I'm super excited for Deadpool because I love the first two movies. And now that it's owned by Disney or whatever you want to say, I'm like, that's going to be interesting because now they're going to try to find a way to blend him into the MCU. So I'm really looking forward to Deadpool 3. And our last question is from the guy that I always struggle to say his name. Anime, I'm not saying that right. I know I'm not, but that's the closest you're going to get. Did you play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? And if not, just do it. It's an order. And then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I have not actually played simply because I don't have a Nintendo Switch. Though Tears of the Kingdom does look like a really cool looking game. I'm not going to go buy a Switch just to play that. I've never had a Nintendo device and I've never played any. And I just don't care to. I just like to play on my Xbox. Yeah, I'm an Xbox guy. But I'm like, it does look cool. So there's that. I don't hate it for any reason. I just... I'm not going to get it because I'm not going to buy a Switch. Lame answer, I know. A lot of today's questions might have been lame answers. Hopefully not. But thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all your wonderful questions. Make sure you ask a question or two for the next episode. Let's see if we can get more than nine questions for next episode. Maybe like 12 or 13 or something. I'll answer all of them. That would be really fun. So yeah, but thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a like as well. It really does help out. Have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.